1958, Dave Keeling, a researcher at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, took the first measurement of carbon dioxide at Mauna Loa in Hawaii. What he saw had never been seen before. CO2 was rising year by year. Today, atmospheric CO2 levels have reached 400 parts per million, and we know that it's down to our carbon emissions, that it's causing the planet to warm, and that only near zero emissions will stop the rise. Ten years ago, we had an idea. Let's get the carbon scientists together to keep track of carbon emissions and where they go in the environment. We look at the atmosphere, ocean, and forest, and at society. And here is the Global Carbon Budget 2015. Carbon emissions had been rising very rapidly recently by 2.4% every year. We know from our research that to keep the warming down, carbon emissions need to decrease very rapidly. If the emissions continue to rise, warming could reach levels that are dangerous for society. Yet this year, it looks like global emissions might have taken a different turn. Emissions in 2014 grew much more slowly, and they might have even declined in 2015. There are two reasons for this. Most importantly, people in China use less coal, but also renewable energy is rising rapidly worldwide. Could this be peak emissions already? Probably not yet. Although the current emission trends are encouraging, we're still emitting massive amounts of carbon annually, around 36 billion tons from burning fossil fuel alone. This is a long way from near zero emissions. How global emissions and climate change will evolve in the future depends on how world governments, businesses, and people like you and I engage to work towards a cleaner atmosphere and safer climate.